Okay, here is how I compiled my 65 CO2 emulation on Linux. So here I am on my Ubuntu desktop. Open up a Chrome browser <coughs> and navigate to the project. And first thing to do is to copy the repository URL. Okay, now to go ahead and open up C line and I click on Git from VCS. And I just paste in the repository URL and clone the project. Trust project. Okay, then I want a debug and a release. And for toolchain, which is the compiler, I'm just using default. If I go to manage toolchains, you'll see that I'm just using G++, C++ compiler. Okay, so this project is loading. And if I go to CMake, you can monitor the progress. So the CMake build finished, but if I try and compile main, Yeah, we get a ton of errors, and that's because this SFML folder is intended for Windows. I was planning on most people using the project on Windows. Um, but if you're not, simply go back to a Chrome browser, or Firefox browser in this case, SFML. Download 2.5.1, scroll down to Linux. GCC 64-bit and click download. Now I've already done this because it takes some time, so I go to downloads. You get a tar.gz file. I'm going to extract here. Okay, double click and rename this to SFML. And then I'm gonna move to, actually one thing I wanna do first is go back to Sea uh, Lion and just delete the old SFML folder. <clears throat> okay, back to downloads. Copy to C line projects W65C2 emulation select. And then we should see that appear. Now I just go down to here, reload uh, CMake project. And it looks like that's finished. Okay, now let's see if we can compile main. Okay, so it built on Linux, which is good. And then I'll just go ahead and show you how to actually run a, a, a program on it. So in the VASM folder I've included, it used to be just the Windows VASM assembler, uh, dot, the dot .exe, but now I've included the assembler for Linux as well. So I go down here to terminal and I'm going to change directory to VASM. And let's just list what's in there. So we have VASM 6502 old style. That's the assembler executable. And I have created an alias because it's Quite a few commands we have to, or uh, arguments we have to add. So it's dot slash root directory, the name of the executable, CEO2, which generates, which allows instructions for the CO2 variant of the 6502 processor, dash fbin, dash, dash dot dir. So if you want to assemble, that's the commands. But I have that shortcutted as VASM. So I just type in VASM and I'll just do a hello world program. Okay. And now if we list, we have a.out. So the last thing we need to do is under main, and I'll just change that to release. We need to go to edit configurations and change and set our working directory. So it's under, for me, uh, just C-Line Projects, W65 CO2 Emulation, VASM. And that just tells the executable where to look for files 
what in what folder directory to look for files. Okay, apply. Let me go ahead and compile this. Yeah, build, and we run. Okay, we have the project running, and just press R on the keyboard for uh, a reset, and that'll set the program counter to the reset vector. And then you can see, uh, see that it runs. And if I can just go to system lib and main, I can adjust the megahertz say to you know it's 200 hertz I'll put it to 500 hertz go ahead and rebuild and sure enough there it's running so that's how you compile the w65 co2 emulation on Linux I mean in C line and that's how I developed it and that's how I was able to build it